Okay, for this last part then, we've got to take our regression line and estimate what mileage then is done after five years. So it's looking at, say, a value on the graph here where this is 5, x equals 5, and figuring out what the corresponding y value would be over here. And so we just need to substitute 5 into this equation. I would take a little bit more care though, rather than using this equation, I would want to use the unrounded versions of these values, just in case we got a rounded up answer. So I'm going to say when x equals 5, then we're going to have y equals, now instead of 8.89, I'm going to take that earlier value, which was 8.89195, okay, just to play safe, and then plus, instead of 7.73, the unrounded version was 7.73366 and so on, put that in brackets and multiply it by 5. And if you do that, you'll find that you get 47.5602, okay, and so on. And we need to give an approximate value for this. So that is going to be equivalent to saying 47,560 miles, okay, approximately. Bearing in mind that this was in thousands of miles, okay? Um, or you might like to round that up to 48,000 miles, okay? I know that's the answer that the examiners gave, but I'll leave it up to you, okay? But that's essentially how it's done.